when you're unable to hear what somebody else is saying, your relationships will go bad. <laughs> In many ways, uh, the fundamentals of your relationship is you're willing to listen to the other person, isn't it? If you want to say everything, there will be no relationship. Relationships. For most of you, the way you are right now, the quality of your relationship largely decides the quality of your life. Is that so? the quality of relationships that you hold in your life, largely decides the very quality of life that you live. So when it is playing uh, such an important role in your life, I think it needs to be looked at. <laughs> so what is the basis of a relationship? Why do human beings need a relationship, first of all? Relationships are formed on different levels, various types of relationships to fulfill different types of needs. The needs may be physical, psychological, emotional, social, financial, political, it could be any kind. But to fulfill various needs within a human being, Relationships are established on different levels. Whatever the nature of the relationship, whatever the type of relationship, still the fundamental aspect is you have a need to fulfill. No, I have nothing to get, I want to give. Giving is also as much a need as receiving, isn't it? Yes? I have to give something to somebody. This is also as much a need as I have to receive something. So there is a need, whatever kind of need. Needs may be diverse, accordingly relationships could be diverse. Now, the moment we form a relationship, wanting to fulfill a certain need, and if that need is not fulfilled, then relationships, relationships will go bad. For whatever purpose for which we have formed a relationship, if those needs and those expectations are not fulfilled, relationships will go bad. We may claim many things, but when your expectations are not fulfilled, it does go bad, isn't it? So instead of doing too much wishy-washy about it, it's best to look at it straight and see what is it and how we need to handle it. <clears throat> the needs within a human being have risen because of a certain sense of incompleteness. People are forming relationships to experience a certain sense of completeness within themselves. When you have a good relationship with someone dear to you, you feel complete. When you don't have that, you feel incomplete. Why is this so? Because this life, this piece of life is a complete entity by itself. Why is it feeling incomplete? And why is it trying to fulfill itself by making a partnership with another piece of life? Fundamental reason is that we have not explored this life in its full depth and dimension. Though that is the basis, there is a complex process of relationships as such, there are expectations. And 
expectations and expectations and expectations. The expectations that most people are creating are such that there is no human being on the planet who could ever fulfill those expectations. If you, especially this man-woman relationship, the expectations are so much that even if you marry a god or a goddess, they will fail you. <laughs> because the expectations are so unrealistic that nobody, no human being can ever fulfill that. <clears throat> and unable to understand the expectations or the source of expectations. Nobody can fulfill the expectations. But if you understand what is the source of this expectation, you could form a very beautiful partnership. Are you okay? For, you're getting very serious with relationships. <laughs> On a certain day, Jack and Jill, now let me use, I'm trying to just culturally change the joke. <laughs> Jack and Jill were going up the hill. And uh, Jack had a bucket in his hand, a chicken under his arm, and a pitchfork and a rope, at the end of which there was a goat. And Jill said, I'm feeling very nervous. Jack said, why? I'm afraid you may have your way with me. I'm alone with you. He said, what do you mean I didn't do anything and my hands are full? So she said, you may put the pitchfork down, plant it in the earth, tie the goat to it, put the chicken down and put a bucket over it, couldn't you? In the process of holding a relationship, the first moment of meeting, the expectations may be common, but as every step that we take in life, the expectations may become different. Because these expectations keep changing in people, they are not cons consistent and they cannot be. One person may be consistent with the same expectation throughout their life. Another person's expectations may be changing because his perception and experience of life is changing. Now relationships become great conflict. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. I hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit